probably help if I unmuted myself. Um, <clears throat> so I'll start over. Uh, welcome, everybody. Good to see everybody for another episode of EPW Wrestling Out Loud. Uh, of course, I'm Neil Taylor and um, excited to be here, uh, talk, check in with uh, everybody for a few minutes. Um, and uh, kind of let everybody know what's going on, uh, take a few questions, talk about a few things. Um, <clears throat> can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can anybody hear me? I'm looking over in the comments. Should be able to hear me now. If not, I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out. Um, so thank everybody for, for jumping on this Wednesday night. Uh, hope everything, hope everybody's doing well. Um, as I'm sure, you know, uh, we still don't have a return date yet, although I think, uh, we are slowly getting there. I'm still thinking that hopefully, uh, sometime in the month of June, as things start to, um, open back up, uh, slowly but surely restaurants are starting to open back up. I know I, for one, am happy to, uh, get to actually go in, sit down and eat a meal, uh, and get away from this curbside thing. Um, some people like it. Some people don't, I don't like it. I'd rather go in and sit down and eat somewhere, but, um, <clears throat> and, uh, hopefully here in the state of Mississippi, we can get a haircut soon. <laughs> uh, I know I'm in much need of haircut. This is probably the longest my hair has been in. I don't know how long, but, uh, anyway, um, uh, just, uh, happy everybody jumped on tonight and, um, talk about a few things. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody that came by uh, this past Friday and Saturday to our Burgers and Dogs event. Uh, it was a lot of fun, a lot of work. Uh, uh, appreciate everybody that came by. want to give a very special shout out to uh, Mama J, Christy, Julia, Caden, Alan, Dusty, and Gary. Um for all the work that everybody did. Um, a lot of uh, prep went into into the event, a lot of cooking. Uh, anybody that knows me personally knows I am not a cook whatsoever. So, um, however, I can get things there. Just uh, when it comes to the cooking part, I'm, I'm a little bit behind. But um, anyway, appreciate everybody that came by. Uh, had a really good turnout both days. Uh, Saturday, of course, was... A little busier than uh than friday was but um it was a couple of fun days we uh we had a lot of fun uh cooking for everybody putting everything together um <clears throat> seeing everybody a lot of folks uh came through we hadn't seen since um we uh um have quit we quit running wrestling shows or was was forced basically to quit running wrestling shows uh, so it was good to see a lot of familiar faces come through Christy Owens, um, big gravy, um, uh, tons of people come by, um, Brent came through, uh, Brent Johnson, a bunch of guys, a bunch of folks came through. So we're so really excited to see, uh, see everybody, uh, come through and, and help support EPW, um, help support EPW through May, um, as I've said uh, many times on here, wrestling shows survives by uh, ticket sales and concession sales. And when there isn't any of that, uh, there's no revenue coming in. So, of course, um, you know, we have to do what we have to do to uh, make sure that we sustain, you know, keep uh, keep the building going uh, so we can be ready to come back when it's time to uh, time to start wrestling again. So um, appreciate everybody that uh that came by on friday and saturday and uh the food was really really good i um hope somebody jumps on here that came through and uh, uh somebody that came through that got a plate actually jumps on here we'll throw some of those comments on and uh, uh brag a little bit on our cooks for the weekend um it was really really good food and a great time like i said um, we'll jump in and, uh, uh, throw in a few things real quick. Uh, make sure that you follow EPW wrestling on Facebook. 
course, we're here on Facebook Live now. Make sure that you give us a like on Facebook. Make sure to click that like button so that you um, uh, see all of the upcoming news, everything that's going on with EPW Wrestling. Make sure that you uh, you like us there. Uh, give us a follow on Twitter. Our Twitter account was uh, our Twitter account uh, is something that we're trying to push and, and get some more follows on. So uh, you can search EPW Wrestling MS on Twitter, and um, you'll find uh, find our Twitter page there. Make sure and give us a follow, as well as our Instagram page. And a lot of times we uh, we post stuff on one social media account that we don't post on others. So you have to follow everything to make sure and get all of the, uh, make sure and get all of the, everything that's going on. Oh, here we go. Here's a comment. There's Christy Owen. She came through. I think she got like four plates. I'm, I'm going to assume she didn't eat all that by herself though. And she did say that it was awesome. Um, let's see. Yeah. Ann said it was awesome. So that was, uh, that's awesome. Proud you enjoyed all, proud you enjoyed the food. Um, uh, also talk about the online store. Be sure to go by and visit EP, EPW wrestling ms.com. Check out the online store, check out the content. Um, there was a, uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff on there now. We're steadily adding stuff. Uh, we're working on a YouTube channel, um, and some more things to, uh, have when we get back to running wrestling full time, uh, try to push a lot more content out uh as uh, like a lot of the other shows in the mid-south house so um anyway i digress uh make sure to go by check out the online store um they have been getting orders out it's been a little bit slow shipping because of the covid19 situation but um it has been a little bit uh, slower getting orders, but uh, they are going out. Uh, I'm, I monitor that daily to make sure that everybody gets the stuff that they ordered. Uh, really cool items on there. A couple of new T-shirts um, are on there, uh, which we've gotten some good good feedback from, as well as um, uh, the Wrestling is Essential T-shirt, um, the EPW hats. And I wish I would actually brought my hat in here. The EPW caps of everybody's going crazy over those caps. So we're doing uh, a lot of cap sales, uh, really a sharp cap. I actually uh, wore mine to the cookout on Saturday and uh, everybody's bragging about it. A couple of people actually ordered them. So, so um, exciting, uh, exciting stuff. A lot of fun stuff on the, on the online store. So uh, uh, get some pink tank tops. We'll have to, uh, We'll have to uh, look into doing that at some point. So uh, make sure you give us that feedback. Anything on there that you want to see that you don't see, uh, we'll have to look into adding adding some of that stuff. Um, also, you can get uh, mask now uh, on our online store. Um, I know there's a big demand for that. So uh, uh, you can actually get some of those cloth masks on there. I think it's like a three pack. Um, you can get those masks there. So make sure to go by and uh, put it up one more time, epwwrestlingms.com. Be sure to go by, check out the site. And uh, once we start running shows again, one more thing um, that's on there is um, early bird discount tickets. We put some of those up every week. Um, typically at the door, it's eight bucks, but we do feel, put a few uh, $5 tickets online, but you have to get them pretty quick because they go really quick. So once we start running shows, make sure to jump on there and get those. Uh, those have become pr pretty popular. Um, so uh, basically, guys, I don't have any guests this week. I uh, just wanted to kind of touch base with everybody. So I thought we might um, just uh, talk a little bit about wrestling. Uh, if anybody's got any questions they want to ask about anything, I'll try to answer. Or, um, I don't know. Uh, has uh, anybody been following the Dark Side of the Ring series? I think uh, um, that series is probably one of the best ones I've ever seen put together on wrestling. Um, they've covered the Chris Benoit story. Uh, just last night, they talked about the ill-fated UWF and Herb Abrams story, which I personally have never heard. So 
that was pretty interesting to talk about um, uh, the Dino Bravo uh, assassination, they called it. Um, of course, being a kid, I remember Dino Bravo. So um, anyway, so uh, if you haven't seen it, I don't see anybody comment about it. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, make sure to check out Dark Side of the Ring. It comes on uh, the Vice Network. You can actually go and watch it online also. Um one more thing I wanted to mention real quick. Um, anybody that's been following AEW the last couple of weeks, uh, they have uh, <clears throat> they have followed. Um, uh, they have followed. AEW has actually started feature, featuring a lot of um, local Mid South talent, and I just wanted to give a shout out to Ryan Powell's that was on there a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but back last summer. Uh, Ryan was on, was at EPW two or three times last year, um, and was actually featured on, uh, AEW, uh, these past couple of weeks. So, uh, big shout out to Ryan. I know he works very hard. Uh, that should be a lot of encouragement for everybody to work hard. You know, a lot of guys are getting a lot of opportunity now that, uh, they typically wouldn't get. So, um, that's, uh, that's awesome that he's getting the uh, getting the opportunity. Let's see. Uh, Ann is looking forward to the Hulk story. I'm assuming you're talking about the Road Warrior episode next week. I'm uh, actually interested to see what they do with that also because other than um, the tragedy that was Hulk, I don't really know what all they would cover uh, with the Road Warrior story. Of course, they were a huge tag team in their time. Uh, very dominant, very, very popular. I know everybody, uh, one of the insider terms, everybody talks about the Road Warrior pop. I've heard that quite a few times over the last few years. So <clears throat> I am interested in seeing that episode. Uh, I know the very last episode is actually the Owen Hart story where his wife speaks out for the first time ever publicly outside of a book she wrote. So the, uh, the Owen Hart story should be very, very good. I'm, I personally am looking forward to looking forward to seeing that. Somebody else has popped up on here that uh, doesn't have a problem talking about himself, and that's uh, our friend Dakota Riley. He says, "If you really want to sell stuff, sell posters of my face. That equals money." Well, I think that. Um, that might be uh, subject to debate. Matter of fact, I see another comment here. Christy's telling to go to the shut up. That's great. Uh, Christy Harville, really looking forward to the one on the Road Warriors. Uh, like I said, I am too. Um, I've never actually had the opportunity to meet Hawk or Animal. Um, I know Animal does a lot of independents, uh, a lot of independent shows down this way right now. And uh, never know may end up at epw at some point you never can tell who will show up but um i'm looking forward to looking forward to that episode as well Let's see there's joseph edwards of course i think he's backing up christy owens here it's good to see joseph and uh good to see joseph and his mom saturday they came through and uh picked up some good food it was great to see them saturday hadn't seen them since uh since the uh show quit running let's see ronnie jordan i did see hawk one night in memphis after a show and all i'm going to say is it was a sad situation yeah that's um that's unfortunate I, it's uh always tough to see uh you know your childhood heroes and you finally get the opportunity to meet them and you know sometimes it's a very good situation when you see them and sometimes it's not a very good situation when you see them i have a similar story about uh meeting jake roberts about 15 years ago that i'll uh i'll have to share someday but uh proud J jake's doing better now than he was back then matter of fact that the story that i have is uh uh actually took place um the story happened uh just up the road from epw at the uh, prentice county agri center uh first time I ever uh, well it's a long story. First time I ever met Greg the Hammer Valentine was actually there also. And uh, that's another story within itself. Let's see. There were comments we got. Uh, Julie is just ready for wrestling to start back up. I totally agree, Julia. I, 
I'm interested, you know, a lot of, there's tons of other shows around here. There's weekly shows. Um, of course, a great friend of our show, Grady Watson, who also runs um, Middleton uh, MIW. Um, I guess it's Middleton Independent Wrestling. I'm not sure what the I stands for. Anyway, um, uh, talk to him on a semi-regular basis. And I know that uh, they're super excited to, to get back running. I know they've done some a few improvement projects on their building while the, we've been shut down, as well as we have. We've actually uh, been working on a pretty big improvement project with our building. Uh, we were just starting it when, uh, when everything happened. So, uh, or when you know, sto uh, show stopped running and the pandemic kind of took off. So kind of interested to see what some of the other shows are doing, doing during this downtime. Uh, Real South Wrestling Federation run by Soul Taker up in Memphis. Uh, 901 Wrestling. Um, some of the other shows, um, just in case the show, kind of be interested to see, um, you know, what everybody else is doing kind of during this, uh, during the downturn. Let's see. Uh, some more questions. Let's see. Da, da, da. Uh, Ronnie Jordan have a sad have a sad story about Gary. Also, is my phone going off? I apologize about Gary. Also, Gary. Oh, I'm not sure who you referred to there. Let's see. Uh Oh, there's Lavelle. How are you? Hope Lavelle. Hope everything's going well. I know you. You are excited to or, or excited to see wrestling come back too. I know we are down this way. Um, uh, good to hear from you. Hope everything's going well your way. Let's see. Uh, some more comments. Let's see. Oh, here's a question. How long have you been wrestling, and what company? Have you worked longest for? Ooh, um, I've been wrestling, um, actually wrestling for about, let's see, this is 2020, about 21 years. Um, I've been around the wrestling business. I was around it for two years before I ever started wrestling. Um, I actually uh, got in the business um, uh, bringing a PA system, hauling a PA system around. Um did some ring announcing, believe it or not. Um, uh, so that's kind of how I've been. I've been around wrestling for about 20 years, uh, ever since I got out of high school. Matter of fact, my first match was the weekend after I graduated from high school. Crazy stuff. Um, company I've worked for the longest. Mm. Company I worked for the longest. I really don't know. I've worked a lot of different places. Um, when I always, uh, I was always told to get out in front of as many people as you could as fr in as many places as you could. So, um, I've worked for just about everywhere. I don't really know what would be the longest, uh, maybe consistently might have been, um, IBF, uh, back when it was running back in the day. Good question though. Um, one to think about. Uh, let's see. Some more questions. Let's see. There's an LOD was her favorite uh, Legion of Doom, which is what they were, which is what the Road Warriors were called when, um, when uh, back when they were in WWE back in 93, 94, I think. So, yeah. Oh, here is Dakota Riley, ring announcer. I hope you do a better job than Joey. He calls me mean names and makes me lose matches. I don't think he has anything to do with the fact that you lose matches, Dakota. Although I will give you your props. You're still currently the EPW Southern Heritage Champion. So I'll, I'll give you that much. Let's see. How did you like being a ring announcer? Um, 
I actually enjoyed it. I didn't think I was that good at it, but I enjoyed it. Um, let's see, I only did that probably about a year and a half. Uh, current guys with less than three years in the business, you think will ever be something in the area or even greater three years or less. Ooh. Um, you know, I'm afraid to, I'm kind of afraid to answer that because, um, I don't know how long some of these folks have been in and I'm afraid if I comment, on and say somebody has only been in for a certain amount of time and they've been in a lot longer uh then might you know <laughs> might offend somebody so um i don't know i think a lot of guys in this area have a ton of potential um for what my opinion's worth of course you know i'm not um i'm not anybody i guess to really have much of an opinion you know I've, um but uh i think uh um, I'll give my, I'll take my hat off to Dakota Riley. I think Dakota has a ton of potential. Daniel Nova, uh, DC. Um, I'll even throw, I'll even throw, uh, yourself. I'll throw Ram Bam Bundy in there. Um, there's a lot of guys here that's got a ton of potential. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, yeah DC, I see that. Yeah. Lord knows you've been at less than three years. I'll, um, I'll tell you a funny DC story. I don't think you'll mind me sharing, um, back. Oh Lord. I don't even know what, I don't even know the year on this, but, um, the very first time DC ever got in the ring to start learning to wrestle, uh, was with me, uh, me and actually one of his, uh, he and his brother. And, um, we, uh, worked out for a couple hours and, uh, DC's first uh, <laughs> DC's first uh, workout session ended with about three stitches in the top of his head. Uh, I'll never forget the sound of his head hitting the top of the ring pole. Uh, split his head wide open. So uh, he uh, he learned the wrestling business was legit really quick. Let's see. Whatever happened to your old tag partner, War Machine? Uh, War Machine actually goes by Gene Jackson now. Um, I talk to Gene pretty regular. Um, Gene is actually living over uh, close to Birmingham right now. Um, he does a lot of uh, uh, media-driven stuff. Uh, we actually did a podcast for about seven months together a couple of months ago. Uh, it's called the Local Legends Podcast. Um, he has a huge catalog and archive of uh people that he's interviewed on that podcast from bruno san martino to randy hales to downtown bruno um let's see uh, dutch mantel jim Cornette. he did tons of interviews interviews with a lot of people so uh i think the uh, website is local and you can go back and look at all those or listen to all of those podcasts those interviews are really really good um, of course, Gene was always really good at talking, a lot better than I am, um, as you can tell through this. But um, but Gene is doing well. He's still uh, still involved in wrestling. He actually uh, still wrestles some. I believe he is the current OWO champion. Uh, and uh, funny fact, he is actually the lightest or the heaviest light CWA light heavyweight champion. <laughs> so... Uh, anyway, so you'll have to, uh, next time you see Gene, ask him about that. Uh, let's see. Okay. So this comment is so long. I can't even, I uh, can't even read it. Uh, uh, let's see in this time, in this time of the shutdown if companies have to, to work, do the building. It can be done. Give the fans that oh my god look feeling when you do the comeback. Take the people, take the people's mind off the bad right now, and start giving them something to look forward to. Uh, like this Facebook Live for the forty-five minutes shown here. Nobody is thinking about the virus. They're thinking wrestling. Well, I don't know really anybody's impact of what this um, webcast does. I know it gets my mind off things a little bit, and I enjoy talking to everybody and. 
um, seeing all the comments and everything on here. So, you know, maybe, uh, maybe Gary's got a point. It's, uh, you know, watching this, listening to me talk or bumble around a little bit like I do, uh, takes a little bit of her mind off wrestling or takes a little bit of mind off what's going on in the world right now. And thinks about something we all got some common ground on and that's wrestling. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. another question. What is the difference between a ring announcer and a commentator? Uh, well, commentator usually calls what's going on in the ring throughout the match. Ring announcer just gets the guys to the ring. Um, ring announcing is actually a lot harder than commentating. I learned that the hard way when I tried to do it a couple of times. Uh, calling matches, uh, calling matches the right way is actually a a, a very difficult task um it's one thing just to get up there and ramble on about matches but uh there really is an art to it um if you want to learn about that you need to uh check out uh both of jim ross's books that are out right now i've read the first one uh, called slobber knocker i'm about two-thirds through the uh, last one the under this black hat uh jim ross's books are re really good gives you some insight on um the right way to uh, commentate over matches and what the play-by-play um, -play guys' actual role is and what the color guys' actual role is and what the difference is. So, interesting. Uh, were you a fan of ECW? Um, I like some of it. Um, I'm not a big hardcore guy. Uh, um, I like that it was different. I like anything that's different. Um and I mean, obviously a lot of people did like that style of wrestling. I wasn't that big of a fan of it. Um, the one thing, the, the thing that we learned later on from ECW was the fact that there was a lot of guys there that didn't really have to do all the hardcore stuff. They were really good accomplished wrestlers that came from that. Um, the Dudleys, Tommy Dreamer, um, Raven, was a lot of guys that came out of that Taz uh, was one of them that came out of that that really didn't have to do all the all the hardcore stuff to to uh, to get by. Let's see, our buddy Gr Green wants to know when EP EPW will be back open. Um, I don't know the answer to that. I hope it's pretty soon. Um, let's see. Ann says she loves tables, ladders, and chairs matches. Uh, that's because you've probably never been in one. <laughs> um, where is David Mabry? How are you doing, David? It is good. Always good to hear from David. Hope things are going well with you, my friend. Let's see. Uh, Julia says soon. I hope I agree with Julia. I hope so too. Uh, Dakota Riley, Rob Van Dam, Jerry Lynn's angle was probably the best underrated thing about ECW. I don't know if I would say that was. I think uh, Cactus Jack's run there with uh, Mikey Whipwreck was pretty um, pretty underestimated. I think that's some of the best work that Mick Foley ever did uh, in wrestling was when he was at ECW. Uh, let's see some looking for uh gel green are y'all trying to bring some new people in uh we are always looking for new people um fresh faces you've got to uh, uh i like to introduce new people to this area i think that's one of the things that uh we struggle with a little bit in this area. We seem to create, we, we have a lot of the same guys. There's not a lot of influx of guys here. So, um, we try to do a lot of that. I think we've done a lot of that with EPW in the last year and a half, um, with bringing brand new people through, uh, guys like Brandon Watley, Ace Austin, um, Ryan Piles that I just mentioned that was uh, recently on AEW. Um, uh, a lot of the tag teams we've had in um, Billy Ron bad, who has never been seen in this area, who has made quite a splash here. Um, a lot of different guys. Um, so uh, we're constantly looking and uh, 
constantly looking to see about uh, different people coming through the area. So good question, J uh, JR. I appreciate that one. Let's see. Any more questions before we jump off? Well, uh, this is a record. We've got been going. We've been going for about thirty minutes. This, I believe, this is going to be the longest one we've ever done. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's see any more questions. So, um, jump back. Jump back on one more time. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, just search EPW Wrestling MS. Make sure to give us a like uh, on any of those things. Um, uh, make sure and follow us on the social media. Make sure and uh, jump on and uh, check us, check out the online store. Check out the website, not just the online store. Uh, check out the website, EPW Wrestling MS. Uh, we're adding some more content on there all the time. Um, we actually just started a YouTube channel that we're fixing to start trying to do some stuff with. So uh, exciting stuff there. And of course, if you're on the website, make sure look at the online store. There's a lot of cool stuff there. Some different shirts, caps, uh, cell phone covers, stickers, uh, backpacks. Uh, I actually saw a couple of orders for backpacks come through. So um, make sure and jump on there and, and check that out. Um, like I said, again, guys, I appreciate uh Appreciate everybody jumping on tonight, talking a little bit of wrestling uh, for a few minutes, answer, asking and answering a few questions. Uh, appreciate everybody jumping on the comments. Um, if you don't care, guys, when you see this posted that we're going to go live, um, make sure and share it. We want to try to get as many viewers on this thing as possible. We're going to try to push, uh, let people know about EPW wrestling as far out as we can. Um, we're looking to grow this thing, guys. If you're sitting still, uh, you're, if you're sitting still, you're not growing. You're not doing anything. So we want to constantly move forward, constantly try to grow. Um, so, uh, guys, I will uh, hopefully see you about this time next week. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, next week, we will actually have a very special guest um, that is going to update, it, update us on his sickness situation. Uh, Hollywood Jimmy Blaylock will be on here next Tuesday night uh, about uh, 8 39 o'clock I'm not exactly sure what time so Hollywood Jimmy will be here next week so um, I'm sure we will have a ton of fun with that um, <clears throat> as most of you know uh, the last time that we saw Hollywood Jimmy he had a bit of a cough uh, rumor has it that he has been very sick uh, he claims it has not been the coronavirus although we have heard that it was the coronavirus so we'll get some update on hollywood jimmy next week so uh make sure be back here next week facebook live uh hollywood jimmy blaylock next tuesday until then boys and girls it's uh, uh been good talking to everybody appreciate uh appreciate everybody jumping on and so long everybody <laughs>